All right, everybody, I wanted to give you guys an update on the greenhouse and uh, how these Japanese Espalier figs are doing, or you may want to refer to them as a low cordon. How is the Capra figs doing to hopefully colonize the fig wasp, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we did also, I did notice a problem in here is that we actually have quite a bit of scale. And if you look closely down here, on one of the capra fig branches, you will just see a ton of scale on some of these leaves, on the branches. Um, it's kind of nuts. So what that scale has then done actually is then created a, a sooty mold on the leaves. And I at first was like, what is this? You know, is the greenhouse itself moldy? Is it getting, is it too humid in here? Is there getting mold in the walls or something? And uh, why is it really, I only see it on the figs. I don't really see it anywhere else. Um, and just through some research and looking around and figuring out what this is, it's, it's a sooty mold from scale. Um, I think it can also come from other insects as well. When they leave behind a residue, um, like scale does, that residue can mold and actually turns into something called sooty mold. So how am I going to um, treat this problem? Well, I think the best situation is probably when the trees go dormant in here is take out all the leaves and dispose of them. And then I will spray the trees with um, something to kill the scale, probably a dormant oil. And that will be enough to probably mostly eradicate the problem next year. Um, how, are the, how are the figs in here doing overall? Well, they didn't get a whole lot of water this year. And we actually are solving that now with a wobbler that we've pretty much set up. I have to kind of adjust it still and still have to hook up the irrigation to it um, there's a lot still left to do with that but basically um, we're going to make sure that these figs get a whole lot more water next year especially you know shortly after the trees come out of here sometime in may when i actually take the potted trees out um, it's quite dry in here the soil i've i've realized is quite dry and um it is quite important, I think, it may be around July and August, especially if it is quite dry outside to make sure that these trees are getting some moisture. They did grow really quite well. Um, the problem was they never set fruit. And actually, the Colonel Littmans here was never going to set fruit, unfortunately. Um, it's just a more stingy variety with fruit, I think. The Coldenon Blanc could have, and so could have the uh, Panache, the Panache, but they didn't, and they just didn't have enough water, and therefore I didn't really get any fruit out of this system. But we're still really just, what I'm really concerned about is building the form. And you can see the form is really coming together. And we actually put in some eye hooks the other day, and I have a wire that goes all the way around the interior of the greenhouse. You can see it even hooks in over there. And now we've attached, we're starting to slowly attach our branches to the wires to create that cordon system, that Japanese espalier that we're looking for. Um, and then now what they're gonna do is they're actually going to start sending up shoots from the main cordons, right? The cordons mean arms. So we have a main trunk. If I take off some of these leaves for you guys you can see there's the main trunk and it branches off in two different directions two different arms and from those arms form the fruiting branches which will grow i imagine next year probably somewhere around my chest level and these guys will um, do pretty well i imagine i hope the only question is is there enough light over here this is not the highest light environment um, i have maybe four or five hours of light in here uh, in the summer, which is not good. Definitely gonna be a struggle. Plus we have plastic that's then diffusing the light, making it not as strong. And um, 
Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. This is all going to be a big question, but the goal was to find out which form is better, the Japanese Espaillé or a very dense system like you see here. So that's the little update here on the greenhouse, how the, uh, the trees are doing in here, the capra fig. We, we're going to try to get, I think, next year probably some profici, and we'll get potentially the... Um, the first crop off of these capper figs because they will put out a first crop which you could say is a braba right but it's not the braba it's whatever that is in capper fig terms i forget what the first crop is called maybe it is the profici but uh yeah i think it is the profici so basically we need to be able to overwinter a crop like this in the greenhouse which we'll we'll have no problem doing you know there's not many of them here but if these trees had the right nutrition and the right water, these guys should be able to, over time, especially at maturity, they'll be able to hold on to these figs throughout the entirety of the winter. And hopefully they contain enough fig wasps to then, in March, when these trees wake up and things start to get warm, the wasps then release and go into the next crop when this particular fig starts putting out bravas. And then from those Brabas, we then have the Profici, and we can then distribute that really to all of the trees on the patio um, or in different areas of the yard, should we choose, which I think would be pretty cool. At least a nice little experiment. We'll see what the deal is with all that. And uh, we'll talk to everybody soon, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit that subscribe button for me. See you guys for the next video.